I'm going to show you how to create free web analytics on your Next.js application using Cloudflare. For this, your application does need to be hosted on Cloudflare pages. So as step one, go to your Cloudflare dashboard, click on workers and pages, and you should land here. Here, click on your deployed website, then go to manage and scroll down until you see web analytics. Once you see this, just click here, enable web analytics. Wait for this to get enabled. Once you see this message, now you can scroll up on the sidebar, click on analytics and logs, and then click on web analytics. After this, click on this manage site gearbox, and you should land on this page. All we need to do now is to add this script tag into our application. So I'm going to click this and copy it. Now I'm going to my application. In your application, go to the layout.tsx folder. In here now, we need to add that script tag. Find where the body tag is and right below the body tag, paste the copied script tag and remove the commented out code. Since this script tag is empty, I'm going to remove this and make it a self-closing tag. Another thing that I'm going to do since we're using Next.js is I'm going to use the script tag that is provided by Next.js and then click on add import from next script. Now, as you can see, we have the next script tag imported. Let me just format this. Another thing that we should add into the script tag is the strategy. And in this case, let's make it after interactive. Save this and now go back to the browser and run this application locally. Here I have the application running locally. And now if I refresh the page, you can see that sometimes you may see this error where the script is not loading properly. The reason for this is due to a cause error. And let me show you how to fix that. Go back to your project, create a middleware in Next.js if you haven't already created one. So new file in the root of your project, middleware.ts. In here now, we, we need to define our middleware. So let's do that. Export function middleware, which will take in a, which will take in a request. This request will be of next request type. We need to add some extra headers to our responses to make the script work properly. So first, let's get all the request headers. From these request headers, let's get the origin. Request headers dot get. The key should be origin. This can be null. So in the case that it's null, let's just have an empty string. Now let's, let's define our response. Const response is equal to next response, which you can import from next server dot next. And inside this, we have to define the object. Inside the object, we can define the request. Headers of this will be the request headers that we received. And now let's modify this response. Let's have an array of allowed origins that our application might have. This will be an array. In my case, when I'm working locally, this can be HTTP localhost 3000. And then I'll also have a link for my deployed application, which will be HTTPS swap.io. I can also have another link for my application, which is the one that Cloudflare Pages gives me. To find that out, go, go back to your browser and where your site is deployed in workers pages, you can see that the domains are swap.io and then there's also another one that Cloudflare Pages gives us. So I'm going to copy this as well, go back to the code and add these into the allowed origins as well. Now I'm going to check if allowed origins has the request origin. And if it does, then we need to set some headers. So we do response.headers.set. The name of the header is access control allow origin. And the value of this header is the origin of our request currently. On top of this, we also need to set some other headers. So response.headers.set. The other one is going to be access control allow methods. And the methods can be get, post, and options. Just like this, we need to define one last one. Response.headers.set access control allow headers, headers, and these can be star. Now, all we need to do is just return response. Save this middleware. So this is our middleware that runs whenever we get a request to our application. Now, Cloudflare analytics are working properly in your Next.js application. So all that's left to do is to commit this and then deploy it. So what I'm going to do is it's status, it uh, dot, and then check the status again. And I'm going to commit this added analytics 
to my application and I'm going to push this now. We'll test this once it's fully deployed. Now that the changes are pushed, I'm going to go back to the browser, go to my project in Cloudflare, click on workers and pages, and you can see there's a new deployment that's in progress. Let's wait for this to get finished. Once your application is fully deployed, as you can see here, now it's time to go to our site and test if the analytics are working properly. So let's go on swap.io and let's open the inspect tool. I'm going to go to the network tab. And now let me refresh the page. Here, as you can see, the RUM events are actually the Cloudflare analytics, Cloudflare insights. And as you can see, the status is 204 and they're working as expected. If I just search for RUM here, you can see that all the requests are working as expected. And that's how simple it is to add analytics to your application. Once again, now if I just go to web analytics and go to my site, all the analytics data will now appear here. And this is completely free, has no charge forever. I hope you found this helpful. If you guys need help with anything else, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.